Hello friends, today we're going to be jumping right back into our Slime Fun tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at Android automation. But before we begin, I just want to thank all of you who have subscribed. Every time someone does, YouTube gives me a notification about it and it just makes my day. So if you could please consider checking to see if you're subscribed, it would mean the world to me. It's completely free, it only takes two seconds, and if you want to unsubscribe later, it's totally okay. Thank you all so much for helping to change my life one sub at a time. All right, so Androids are slime fun machines that perform tasks written as instructions called scripts, so long as they have fuel. You can find your Androids right here in programmable Androids. The fuel lasts for a set amount of time, not actions. So to maximize the efficiency of our Androids, we wanna maximize the efficiency of our scripts. First, we'll cover the type of Androids, show them an action, and then we'll take a specific look at the minor Android and how we use it for automatic dust generation. I'll also share a script that you guys can use for your own Androids. There are three tiers of Androids. Basic Androids, also called normal Androids, which run on solid fuel, such as dried kelp blocks and coal, as well as blaze rods. Advanced Androids, which run on liquid fuels, such as lava, oil, and fuel. And empowered Androids, which run on nuclear compounds, such as uranium and boosted uranium, as well as neptunium. We're not gonna be needing the two higher tiers for now, so we're gonna focus on the basic Androids. We have six types of androids and each one has six inventory slots as well as one fuel slot. In order to function, we have to program their scripts, which is just a set of actions such as move forwards and turn left. So to edit scripts, we go into our memory core. We can download scripts from the server database. This is for which specific server you're on and connecting to. You can edit your script here, create a new script, and then this is how you return to the Android's interface. Starting script is here, pausing script is here. Each Android has unique functions to their type, such as dig block or catch fish. All have the functions to deposit items into their Android item interface, which looks like this, and pull items from their fuel interface, which looks like this. They must be facing their interface in order to interact with it, and all interfaces are compatible with cargo management. I've written some demo scripts that will showcase the functionality of each type of Android. Our first Android type is the normal Android. It doesn't have any special abilities besides movement. Here it is in action. Look at him go. He's gonna dance. He's so good at that. And that's our normal Android. Our next type of Android is the minor Android. He can mine and automatically picks up the loot. Here he goes. Wow. What an impressive boy. And now he's gonna go ahead and deposit that into the item interface. Here we have what he collected and pull more fuel. We're gonna pause him right there. Our next type of Android is the farmer Android. He can harvest and replant automatically picking up drops. Look at him handling this difficult terrain. Wow. Incredible. What a hero. And he's gone ahead and deposited his drops. He only got one carrot and one potato because the carrot dropped two, the potato dropped two, but he had to use them in order to replant them. Our next type of android is the woodcutter android. He can chop down whole trees, take the wood, and replants saplings. Watch him chop. So stern. So fierce. Our next type of android is the fisher android. He can fish in water below him. He won't catch something every time, but you do have to admire his perseverance. Good job, fisher android. And finally, we have our butcher android. He can't move, but he likes to kill. He deals four damage per hit and automatically takes any drops from killed mobs. Watch him slaughter this chicken. There is no end to his bloodlust. And here's our raw chicken. Now that we've covered the Android types, let's take a closer look at one of them that can really help us in slime fun automation, the miner Android. By using a cobble generator, we can have the miner Android mine cobble endlessly for us. Our only issue is fueling him. As Androids use around 55 dried kelp blocks per hour, I suggest making two better auto kelp farms from our last video right here per Android. So you can just have some extra. Then make a tier three electric furnace with three basic solar generators and a large energy capacitor so it works day and night to power it and let it cook the dried kelp. As you can see here, 
this is where our kelp output would be and it's going right into here using our cargo management. All of this can be automated with cargo management rather simply. If you need a refresher on that, the video is here. The only part that cannot be automated is turning the dried kelp into dried kelp blocks, which we have here. So I suggest just starting with some stockpiled mounts and then crafting a few stacks with the dried kelp produced every few hours. Uh, it only takes a few seconds, so it's not bad. So I just take a bunch of dried kelp, all that we've got, and then go into here. Dried kelp blocks, do that. Drop our dried kelp blocks in here, and our cargo management's gonna take it right to the fuel interface. Now, just a quick look into the configurations of all of this, if some of you guys are still confused after watching the cargo management video. This one is set on channel one. It doesn't matter what channel it's set to as long as it's corresponding with the corresponding output. So this one's on channel one. It's whitelisting kelp, depositing the kelp to the same channel. The electric furnace is depositing an input on channel two, depositing that in this chest, and then this chest is being manually crafted into dried kelp blocks, which is being turned on channel three to our Android interface of fuel on the same channel. Once we've got our fuel system set up and our script set up, we're done. Now this miner Android will automatically mine cobble for us. Here's the script I use to mine cobble. Dig forward, dig forward, dig forward, dig forward. You get the idea all the way down until finally you turn left, push inventory contents to the faced interface, which is this item interface. You turn right, you turn right again, put the fuel in the faced interface, and then you turn left. It's good to note that all of these turning is 90 degrees, so it's turning on axes, which makes sense. Uh, and remember, you can only have a script up to 52 actions because you need the re repeat script on this and you also need the start script button. So let's see it in action. We're starting the script. Now, one thing to note is that I have seen it done to where you basically create a line of lava source blocks, a line of water source blocks, and then just extend this design this way. So it basically has a, a line of cobble generators. And then you just have him, instead of dig forward, move and dig forward all the way there and all the way back. This is going to net you in the end more cobble, except it's not very space efficient and I generally use multiple androids per system. So I personally prefer this way. If you're wondering how we can use this to automate dust generation, then you're in luck because that's exactly what our next video is going to cover. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you found it helpful, please subscribe. It's free, it takes two seconds, and it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much, and I will see you all next time.